John Dewey's construction impulse is a key concept in his moral philosophy and educational theory. Let's take a moment to discuss Dewey's ideas on the construction impulse. Dewey believed that impulse is the original motor source of conduct, and that activity is the default state of human beings. He contrasted his view of impulse with conventional desire-based psychology, which takes rest as the default state and defines desires by the states of affairs they aim to achieve. Dewey argued that the character and value of means and ends are reciprocally determined and that we lack a complete conception of our end until we have a complete grasp of the course of action that will take us there. He identified the good with the objects of approved desires, which are those desires that we approve of in calm, informed reflection. Dewey believed that barriers to freedom come from within as well as from without and that self-control is one of the main goals of education. He saw the purpose of education as the cultivation of thoughtful, critically reflective, socially engaged individuals rather than passive recipients of knowledge. Dewey's ideas about education are evident in approaches where teaching and learning are designed to be responsive to the specific needs, interests, and cultural knowledge of students. He believed that critical inquiry is an important aspect of education and that students should engage in intellectual reflection and inquiry, critique, test, and judge knowledge. John Dewey is often referred to as the philosophical founder of constructivism. Dewey believed that education should be centered around a learner and their experiences, that learning should be interactive, and that students should be encouraged to explore and discover new information on their own. Constructivism emphasizes the active role of learners in building their own understanding. Learners reflect on their experiences and construct their own knowledge rather than passively receiving information. Knowledge is constructed rather than innate or passively absorbed. Constructivism values real-life contexts and problems as an educational experience. In this module, you will learn about constructivist theory and create a construction project using design thinking. This project will start this week and continue throughout the course. There are eight assignments where you will use the design thinking process. Take a moment to review the slides in this presentation so you understand what will happen in this module and in future modules. You have two assignments in this module that are part of the Construction Design Thinking Project. Remember, we are always here to support you and assist you with all of the projects.